Welcome back guys. Really excited to have you on this week's 5 for 5 challenge which is about doing 5 vlogs this week where I have you along here trying to like see what my week's like a little bit. This vlog for this week has all been about so far making out of a new presentation and today is just like the other days in that I'm going to give you some advice about the presentation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about where I'm at in my presentation and Love, love, love having you guys along for the ride. So if that sounds like something you want to stick around for, then stick around. All right, I guess you were one of the ones that chose to stick around. Really appreciate that. If you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, down below, that would be awesome. Uh, and also if you could hit that thumbs up if you end up liking this video, that would be great So today here I am in my classroom I'm at my computer. It is my prep period I was ready to work on my presentation and I went over to my Google Drive to see if my presentation was in there and boom lo and behold it was not in there I I can't work on it But then I thought like I still have some good advice about this This is still some valuable time with you guys that I can share out one of which that I want to tell you when building out a presentation you're gonna spend time on it. We've talked about that this week. You're gonna be intentional with your design. You're going to handcraft this and it's gonna take some time and it's gonna be something that you're gonna develop a lot of knowledge on. You're sharing out some something that you've done extremely good work on and something that you're excited about. This may seem super simple, but it was something that took me a little bit of time to learn. Be organized with your presentations. Create a folder now on your Google Drive or somewhere and put all your presentations in there. Probably over the years lost three, four presentations to just sort of put them on my desktop and I was all like paying attention when it was like my presentation time and then afterwards you forgot to sort of file it away and you lost the presentation. Organization is the key to success. Take that a little bit of time, stick everything inside a Google Drive folder. I put all of my presentations in one folder so I know all of my babies are right there. If we're on the, the idea of organization of your presentations, is I also typically have a folder per presentation. And inside that folder, I have things like uh, an image folder where I put all my images. I told you it's like, for me, building out the, the look of a presentation is big and I really wanna make sure I do a really stellar job. So I need to have like a place to put all my images and know what, what images I'm working with. If I ever need to like retool something, I have them right there. Next tip I wanted to give you uh, today, seeing that I don't have my presentation and can't work on it, is about the presenter notes box. So on Keynote, and I know Google does the same thing, I'm sure PowerPoint does the same thing, you can put some notes down there. I do not use this for me as the presenter. Remember yesterday I told you in my five tips for making a good presentation that if you make a lot of slides, you only have to remember kind of the one detail about that slide. I'm sticking with that advice. You don't need to have this presenter's box information. So what do I want you to use that for? Well. What I do is I usually type a little bit in there about what is the one thing I want to say? What is the topic about on that slide? And it's not for the presentation. It's because I'm hoping that I'm going to get a chance to deliver this presentation two, three, ten times. I hope that I get to go to your district and give this presentation. I hope that I get to go to your conference you're going to be at next and give this presentation. I hope that I'm a keynote at that next one. You, you get the idea, uh, but it might be three months before I get to go do that presentation again and when I load it up right now I'm spending every day on this presentation it is like married to me right now sadly uh, but in three months I'll sort of forget like what did I want to say on this one slide with this one picture on it like where was I going with that boom here's where having that box is huge because I can quickly look through all my notes and and really get back to where I was at with the presentation. That's a nice little tip for that box and it's great because you're gonna get more use out of this presentation. So when I am going to probably spend 50, 60, some presentations are over 100 hours I work on the presentation. That's just nuts. I'm not saying you all have to do that. But when you're gonna put that kind of time, you're gonna wanna remember what this thing was about. Uh, and so that you can deliver it again with that same sort of fidelity and that same sort of intentionality that you gave it with that first time where you just had spent the 50 hours, the 60 hours, the 100 hours on the presentation. So two little tips for you today. Down below, there are extra information. If you're on your phone, you click this little triangle and it'll bring up all the extra little details about this particular video. There'll be some links to some other things. If you're on your phone, the other thing I learned, the comments 
you can't get to the comments unless you scroll all the way past. Like there might be like 10 videos that's suggesting you. you scroll way past that, there's a comment box at the bottom. I mean it, guys. I wanna hear from you. If you wanna help others, ask that question on here. Let it be answered. If you wanna like say you really like the video, put it on here. It, it, it helps others realize this is a good, good video and something that you liked. Those of you interacting on here, absolutely love it. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Take care, guys. Shoo.